Hello everybody, First Month is here today with final or oh, final another test with some Alaris with the longer knife because there will be another last test compared to the Haron 3. Now but today it will be with this Extrema Ratio Sharpener 1 because the reason is what I've said uh, in a video at home. Let's start. You won't see me. Important you will need to see this one. I've prepared some pieces for batoning. Nice pieces of oak. It's it's dried oak. Two years, three years, I, I guess. Not really crappy wood. You read that? That's under the under the bark. But this is good wood, and I don't think I will need to baton something over this. I mean, thicker than this one. Sharpener one is full flat. I remind you, full flat N690 58 HRC. So not the best knife for batoning or the best steel for batoning. Actually, it will be better set. I would say easy. 6.3 millimeters in thickness, so almost almost quarter of an inch. And of course, I got the Alaris here. We've seen the Alaris already to baton through something. There was a knot actually, or two. So, two knots, unexpected, but without any problems. Okay, I'll, I'll finish that like, like that. Sharpen one. CPM 3V in same hardness which is not something you see many times 58 HRC I'm all right with that okay last time when I did uh, that test with uh, with uh, top silent hero I forget to do to do killings feathers actually so I will do it today by the way again uh, about sparks, I said uh, there, there are all these corners around it, so it's not something like I want to do. I have to do something on it if I want to make sparks. This is, as I said, this is full flat, so it will be more easy to to make this one even a bit more flat. S simply put there 99 degrees, 90 degrees, sorry, and use it for for that uh, sparks out of the road. Don't need it, but if sharpener one. Uh, feathers. Both these knives got my edge, so this is not original. And on that, on that uh, Alaris, also. Nice and easy. Nice handling, by the way. With this new edge, it works really, really better. You can feel that when you got it in your hand. So, I dare to say, are they, I dare to say, with the Alaris, this is slightly better, more fine, I would say. Maybe because the belly, because the grind, as I said, 0.6 millimeter behind the edge, which is nice for slicing. Yeah, 
uh, this one was better okay I'll try uh, I'll try to hold it in this way which as, as I said it's uh, something I'd like to have it without this sharp edge here or ramp, ramp. I do it just because the handling and yes what I only have to do is to be a bit careful these are not as nice because I'm rushing a bit more I don't want to waste your time but if that will be hard wood and I've got I got my index here so it is possible when I go down to stop myself to some kind of piece of hardwood not, a, not on this one but some so when I when I do the long slice why because I got a finger there if I do it in this way it's uh, less probable but it, it's possible anyway for the handling it's hard to see guys to be honest I like this handle, as I said, it's, it's rub, rubber kind of material, plastic one, and it's, it's very comfortable, it's kind of soft, but this one is alright too. I would call it even for handling for kidlings, when I do these, it's hard to say, really I would call it even. Let's carry on, some drilling thing. We are preparing for, for winter, so we've got some some fallen fallen uh, saplings. So the limbing this task we might need when we camping. It's very important to say the alaris is slightly heavier than that sharpener one about one ounce and something just just the hair but it's shorter on the uh, on the blade that's important just to remind you so when I hold those knives let's say this could be even so see see that sharpener one is about one inch longer on a blade, but it's lighter, as I said. Uh, it's important to say too, I forget, if I put it in this way, so see the Alaris got slightly longer handle, but we are talking mostly about this part here, which is hard to say if, if, the, if it helps or not. Okay, that was the limbing what about light chopping compared to the silent hero this knife is definitely not a chopper. Sorry, I'm not. I'm gonna do it a little more easy here. We've got plenty of wood taken from the creek after the water flowing, so we got a mess here. So I don't have the area. I'm here uh, for work. I do lots of things here, planting new trees and ma made uh, some improvised new bridge before we will make new one, proper bridge. So lots of things to do. But anyway. Alaris is longer as I said I have to chop I have to chop with this portion because when the sweep is uh, goes towards the tip it loses the, the 
the point. So even even if I hit, if I will be here, so it, it will be definitely out of the range, something like that, I would say. If that will be, let's say, if that will be one cliff, which, okay, that will be a different knife, but anyway, if that will be one cliff, it will be, for this, probably even even chopping. See that? That's, that's the point. So, here, on my side, I'm almost in the end, but from the other side, see, I'm not even in the middle. So that's the point what I'm going to say. So that's, that's, that's the problem. So how it chops? It chops well, but this one, because it has kind of even grind, chops slightly better. Okay. What about, what about some... No cheese. As always, where is the button? Here. No cheese. You see me to do no cheese. There is a knot. This is, this is anyway, one beam, I, I guess. I got the right, right word, and there are knots everywhere in that in that kind of tree. So, nice, really nice handling, guys. Uh, kind of plus or minus is tip on this knife because it's very nicely pronounced. See that? Very fine tip which is plus and minus. So I don't want to pry with the tip, absolutely not, M690 steel, so that will be not something I really want to do. But otherwise, also about price, we're talking about price, the sharpener one is much cheaper, even it's Extrema ratio is definitely not a cheap trademark. Where is that? Okay. Nice. Yeah. This is it. A kind of flat edge helps simply for these things. So this is it. I'll do that V, small V here, just to know it's from the shop now. Ticks everywhere still. We've got plenty of mosquitoes after that. This is absolutely not usual in this time, in a year, but this year is very different in many many things so again yeah I have to say when I when I put the, to the new edge on it it works much more much more nicely I would say really Thanks to the more broad blade, then of course to do to put the blade more into that designated gap, like here, it's more tricky than with of course some some kind of narrow blade.
do it a little bit more deeper. Nice. Uh, I would say that uh, Shrapnel one is slightly better for this for these tasks. Okay. Let's make some point a tip. Easy, nice and easy. Mm -hmm. This is slightly thinner, but it's just about the, about the feeling anyway. This is slightly better for the Alaris. Yeah, slightly better for the Alaris. I would do I will do this like cross chopping. No chopping too. Okay. Slightly better. Yeah, that one was thinner, but the Alaris is slightly wider or broader on the blade. Slightly, not much, five millimeters, but it helps when when I do this one. One thing what I haven't done is just just few chest pulls, which I forget to do. I guess on that seven zero again. But I won't do that. Well, of course, it's more powerful and a bit more safe to around me, but with handling like this one, okay, you see that this, you see this line there made by this, this ramp. Well, that's that's the shorter blade. There is an advantage and disadvantage because when it's shorter blade, so I have to use the, the knife a little bit in different way. But thanks to the thanks to the the sweep here, I won't call it belly. Thanks to the sweep here, it works slightly better because, like when you when you have to pull too much to make the cut, it releases the knife, and you have to do it again. But you don't need to use the, that much power, so it's you can do it twice, let's say, but you save energy and it's more safer because you don't have to use your your strength for that. So. I guess I I've done everything what I what I wanted slight light chopping light chopping okay okay now I'm doing not only this one just well if I want to go through
for this one the Alaris is slightly better so any conclusion for that yeah uh, if you ask me for a recommendation I said okay one of these knife uh, is I don't want to say bad or something like this one so which one choose so as I said I can buy one 1 1.7 of these for price of this one but this is CPM 3D this is N690 this one got absolutely crappy sheath no use for that again I got I got that mine and from the time I made this one which was after the after the, the I bought the knife I, I don't know second day or third day and then I use only this one and that one is somewhere in my house I don't know where the Alaris got she as I showed in last video here with this and it's absolutely fine so if if I say you have to pay you have to pay more money so if, if, if you can from whatever reason to make your own sheath then you spend definitely 60 maybe over 60 dollars for the new sheath I don't know how the market goes now but it was like that I mean the, those kind of better better sheets was where 160 or maybe even 100 US dollars so which we which will increase the price of the knife even more and you need the new sheath only if you want to have it in your backpack if you throw it into your backpack you go to camp do something that you, tr you put the, the knife into that sheath and then you put the knife somewhere else so you won't carry it on your belt then it's fine then it covers the blade so it works as a sheath but for carry like this one for example absolutely not so it depends so and of course this is this is uh, not only coating on it but this is N690 so it's let's say rust resistant steel and as we know that CPM 3D is not but it's partial so you don't have to care that much about but you have to so let's say in the evening you have to clean the blade and everything like that on this one generally you don't you don't need to do anything with this one about the handling as I said there, oh there is nice one thing you can buy new uh, the handle this one there is the screw as you might see here you you can unscrew it you take this one off a new one costs costs about costs about 655 or 60 US dollars brand new and even you can have I guess three colors black this one coyote tan and green one kind of olive well that's that's another thing which to this knife you you can't that's that's first thing and second or, or, or second you don't you, you guess you don't you don't need it but you never know but anyway that's kind of plus for this one so in the winter this this handle will be more friendly and of course for combat tasks let's say let's, let's say you have, you want to use it for some e extensions in your combat self defense whatever it is this one will be better definitely definitely more pointy longer blade life is lighter so and the point of balance is okay it's slightly forward compared to the you see it's just behind the guard and we are definitely further from the guard so this one is is broader or, or wider heavier shorter and it has balance more more there so okay it's, it's it might be more life in the hand but this one is more pointy longer with the blade so this one is definitely as a self-defense tool this is definitely better you got the, this this guard so it's it's all right you can do longer slushies not on this one well so for for that that kind of use definitely this one will be the choice and again like with silent hero if this one will be cpm 3d probably i don't have this one because there will be no reason that's it so if you got any question please uh type it into under into the comments under this video i'm really i I'd, I'd like to know your 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 thinking your thoughts what you say about these even with the with the silent hero yeah how you see these three knives so silent hero is extreme ratio sharpener one and alaris the alaris is definitely premium knife 
how to say that but both are kind of premium knives i would say uh, of course that silent hero is a premium knife but different material n690 is I, I would say basic stainless steel for me 1095 if, is for me basic high carbon steel and cpm 3d is premium steel uh, I know that uh, today is the Magna Cut, Magna Cut, which is maybe or definitely in some way is better than this one, especially as a corrosion resi resistance, as I know. But I, I guess, as I remember, the CPM 3D is still even tougher than the Magna Cut. But you don't have to, or you shouldn't put uh, that um, high, high level of, of hardness on this one. I'm alright with with, with uh, 58. That's absolutely great. 59 or even 60. I don't want to go over 60. Anyway, thank you very much. Have a great time. Bye.